Hello friends, good morning. Welcome to my channel, Navigator Noma. So friends, today topic is storage plan on tankers. So I will show you uh, how to make the storage plan on tankers. Uh, friends, uh, this video will help the aspiring chief officers or the junior officers for uh, understanding and uh, the things which needs to be taken into account while preparing the storage plan and uh, how to make the storage plan, how to input data into the ludicator. Uh, I will uh, discuss all the informations related to it. So, uh, if you like the video, so please uh, like, subscribe, and share. So, let's go. Without wasting a time, we will discuss. Thank you. Okay, friends. So, let's start. Uh, storage plan on crude oil tankers. So, good day once again. Welcome to my channel, Navita Normal. So, friends, uh, we will see uh, what. Uh, informations we required for making the storage plan and uh, how to go about it so let's go so as you can see informations available for charters so first the charter will send a mail to, on the ship to the master uh, whatever information is available that is first is cargo name and grade which cargo we need to load and uh, what is the grade of the cargo that will be provided by the charter then they will provide API or density, whichever is available. Most of the time they are giving API or they will give the density. Okay. So depending upon API or density, we will do the storage plan. Then they will give the temperature. Sometimes temperature is given, sometimes the temperature is not given. So if the temperature is not given, then we can refer the previous voyages. voyages and we can take the temperature uh, but uh, one thing you should remember that uh, we have to take the temperature on the maximum side that is maximum during the voyage then they will give you the quantity to be loaded means how much quantity we need to load so they will tell maybe sometimes one lakh tons or maybe they will give you in barrels okay or uh, they can also say Okay, maximum loadables like this. Then, if any draft restriction at the load port or at the discharge port, then they will give the, this information also. So these are the important uh, informations which will be provided by the charters to the master, and uh, the master will give you uh, means the master will give to the chief officer for making the storage plan. Okay. After that, once the information is received from master, then chief officer will ask some information from the chief engineer. That is estimated bunker report for arrival load board. Okay, means how much bunker is there during the vessel arrival at the load board. So this report will be given by the chief engineer. Then, of course, he will give you the fresh water quantity also. Okay, once these all informations available with you then you will go to the loading gator and then you will start doing the storage plan calculating the storage plan so friends let's go now we'll go to the loading gator and then we will we will make the storage plan uh, okay friends so we will uh, take one example and uh, i will show you how to calculate or how to make the storage plan so we will take the example which is shown on the screen uh, we have to make a storage plan for cargo that is Malaysia light crude oil. Okay, then API is given 29, and the temperature maximum temperature is given 28 degrees centigrade. And here you can see the load loadable quantity is not given. Uh, so instead of loadable quantity, they have given the uh, restrictions. We have the draft restrictions at the discharge port that is 14 meter okay so we have to load in such a way that at discharge port our draft should not exceed 14 meter okay so friends we will make this storage plan as per this data so let's go okay friends so you can see this is our loading gator okay so friends uh, you should uh, one important thing you should keep in mind that uh, before uh, once you join as a chief mate, it's very important for you to that uh, you thoroughly know your loading gator, okay? Because it is very important. You should uh, uh, go through the manual also if required, and you should know all the 
tabs and all the controls uh, in the load editor okay so that uh, you will not face any difficulty so friends uh, you can see this is our load editor its uh, model is napa so okay without wasting time we will go through so you can see this is the monitoring there are two modes monitoring mode planning mode then load task is also given here this bunker cargo ballast stores then direct damage emergency friends uh, sorry for inconvenience as i am making this video on the ship so whatever uh, equipment i i have so i am shooting from my mobile only that's why you will face problem for uh, uh, watching this video so sorry for that so friends let's go so first we will go to file and then we will select any new condition okay so file then new condition okay after once the new condition is uh, opened or you can uh, open your uh, current ballast condition okay so instead of new condition i will open the our current condition so open then uh, i will go to Okay friends, so now I have opened my current last conditions. Okay, so now we have the informations. Okay, so you can see first here yeah, there are three columns given, three types are given: cargo tanks, where you can find the segregation code, parcel, API, then uh, capacity of each tank, filling ratio, then LH. UTI, okay, TOV barrels, then degree Fahrenheit, GOV, VC of GSV, and metric tons. So and here you can change over from barrels to cubic meters. Here the tabs is also given. Okay, so now we have the details. Okay, so as you can see, we have already selected Malaysia light crude. Okay, parcel. You can input the name over here. and then we have to put the api okay so as per our informations which we received from charter our api is 29 so we will type 29 okay so once you enter api 29 it will take automatically into the all the tanks okay then you have the temperature okay so temperature for temperature you have the temperature that is 28 degree fahrenheit okay so uh, sorry 28 degree celsius so you can go to cubic meter tab and you can type 28 28 28 and 8 28 okay so in all tanks you have put the temperature as 28 degrees centigrade then again you go to barrels so you can see 28 degrees centigrade that means 82.4 degree fahrenheit okay now friends first you go to bunker tanks and you received the bunker reports from the chief engineer okay so you can uh, update all the data in bunker tanks okay so 
chief engineer will give you the bunker report then according to that bunker report you put all the data into the designated tank so friends i have already put all the data okay uh, which include bunker report as well as the fresh water also so i have put the fresh water also okay so once you updated the bunkers and fresh water then again come to cargo and ballast tab and then you put the filling ratio okay in the cargo tanks you put the filling ratio you fill all the tanks to 98% okay 98 Friends, so I have put uh, ninety eight percent from one to six wing slope we will take 90% and it depends on master also how many percent he wants so you can discuss with master so I am putting 90% okay then you can go to ballast tank and you can uh, you can de-ballast Okay, now you can debalance all the tanks. you can see I am putting 0.1% because in ballast tanks you cannot uh, uh, educt fully there will be some unpumpable ballast so that's why I am putting 0.1% Okay friends, so now you can see I have deblasted all the tanks and my cargo tanks are 98% but my draft is, you can see my draft is, our draft is 12.6 meter and our power draft is 15 meter that is too much trim, so it is not acceptable, okay so now we have to adjust the cargo also and ballast also because our draft restriction is 14 meter So friends, uh, one thing you should remember that we have to load the maximum cargo. Okay. So our now trim is forward trim is 2.5 meters. So we will keep some ballast in after big tank. So we'll put 50%. 50%. You can see the draft is changing. So we will take some more ballast. 55% 55% Okay So we can take some ballast in 6 wing also It is 2 meter 2 meter We have to take some more ballast It is 5 meter meter so 
friends we have to see your stressor also now bending moment are 91 percent sharing force are 31 percent okay so uh, try to keep the stresses within the limit it should not be more than uh, 90 percent okay so we'll go to the cargo tanks okay and we'll take out some cargo that is around 90 percent 90 percent okay 92 percent 92 percent so friends you can see now our forward drive is 14 meter our draft is 13.63 meter okay so we have to take some more ballast into the half tank so we will take 25 25 percent ballast okay now you can see our draft is 13.91 13.98 okay so you can and you can see stress is also 85 percent 32 percent our list is 0 0.6 is to starboard okay so we can increase little more cargo into the one wings we'll take 92 percent 92 percent okay and uh, now draft is 14 meter 13.9 meter okay so friends you can see starboard side list so we will take some ballast into the port tank we will go again into the ballast tank and we will take some more ballast into 6 port deeper percent two percent percent okay still 0.5 degree list to port so we will take some more that is 38 percent now 33 percent now list is on port side so we will take little bit ballast on the uh, starboard side okay so 30 percent so now the list is on the starboard side 0.2 and uh, but you can see the draft a little bit uh, more than 14 meter okay so we will take out some bala 29 percent and it is 31 percent okay this is i think this is okay so friends you can see our draft restriction is 14 meters so uh, we have loaded till 14 meter now trim is okay uh, list is almost uh, uh, zero and our uh, you can see our stresses you can see here our stresses are 85 percent and 33 percent so i think that is okay so and now you can see friends our total cargo quantity okay so this this is the cargo quantity friends so we can load maximum 67,138 tons of cargo okay so as per this information malaysia light crude we can load at 14 meters the 67,000 tons of cargo so friend that is this this is the storage plan hope you understood we will uh, transfer all this data into the excel sheet and then we will send to the master then master will send to the company so we will save this data okay we already saved this data so now we will all this information all the data we will transfer into the excel sheet